the day that the final nail to the coffin of the beatification ceremony of Blessed Irene Stephanie will be put. And faithful Catholic nuns, priests and even lawyers were present for this occasion. <laughs> Once the sarcophagus was confirmed to be intact, the relics of Blessed Irene Stephanie were loaded onto a special van and the procession started. It was exactly 7.45 a.m. in the morning. Catholic faith will brave the cold for this seven-kilometer walk from the Madari Old Chapel to St. Mary's Boys High School where there's going to be the Thanksgiving Mass. This is the final journey of Blessed Irene Stephanie as her relics are going to be stored at Our Lady of Consolata Cathedral in Nyeri Town. And at special designated stopovers, more faithful from the different parishes in the Nyeri Archdiocese joined the procession. The security of those present was assured, the men in blue on foot, on horseback and on wheels. As the procession snaked its way into town, slowly making its way to St. Mary's Boys Secondary School. The procession bringing the main streets in Nyeri town to a standstill as residents turned out to see what was going on. On arrival at the venue of the Thanksgiving Mass, the throngs lined up, each waiting their turn for the security screening. After the Mass, the sarcophagus arrived at Our Lady of Consolata Cathedral in Nyeri Town. It was a tight fit as everyone scrambled to get the best view of this historic event. The relics of the first beatified nun on African soil. I affirm and confirm that this is the same box after the legal process of verifying the seals were intact by the six-person team appointed by the Vatican, it was finally time to put the relics in the bulletproof altar, specially designed by an architect sent from the Vatican. It has been a three-day journey which started with Venerable Sister Irene Stephanie and has finally ended with her being Blessed Irene Stephanie. Only time and the Commission of Saints will tell when her status will change to Saint Irene Stephanie. Barry Lombani, NTV from the county of Nyeri.